Good morning. Today's Thursday, June 4th. I'm Tim Archer. We're reading through the New Testament. Today we are reading 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And there Paul takes the gloves off. He he lets his opponents know exactly what he thinks of them and, and what he thinks of this rivalry that's in the church and some of the people that are looking down on Paul and other leaders of the church and then that he will not accept that. But I like what he says about not judging anything before it's time. Not judging anything before it's time, but waiting until the Lord comes back. You see, the, God will come back and He will reveal what's in our hearts. And that's what we can't see. We can judge actions, okay? We can say this is right and this is wrong. We can judge teachings and, and we can say this is true and this is false or this is correct, this is incorrect. Um, a lot of the time we have to, to respond with humility and say, from my understanding, that's not right, okay? But we can do that. What we can't do is talk about the motives in someone's heart. We can't talk about what has led them to do what they're doing. And we certainly can't talk about someone's eternal destiny. I can't say who's saved and who's lost. If I declare someone saved, that doesn't make them saved. If I declare them lost, that doesn't make them lost. Only God is the judge. Only God can make that determination. And we don't need to try and get ahead of him. Let's wait. Wait for God and don't judge before it's time. Going to be praying. If you'd like me to pray for something, you can go to timothyarcher.com. There I have my blog. And you can leave a prayer request there. You can look me up on Facebook. You can leave a comment on YouTube. I'd love to pray for anything that you need prayed over. Uh, a dear friend in Argentina has asked me to pray for her father. I'll be praying for him. I'll be praying a prayer of thanks for a friend in Cuba. And I'll be praying generally for our country here in the United States and the situation in this world. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for having mercy on us, for, for being a God of grace and mercy. And we ask that you look on us with merciful eyes, that you be slow to anger and quick to forgive as we know you are. Father, we want to lift up Ricardo Martinez in, in Argentina, ask you to be with him and his health, be with Claudia, his daughter, and the rest of the family, that they can have peace at this time. And Father, I, I also give you thanks for Dayami and, and the way that, that her health is improved and her baby seems to be getting stronger. And I pray, Lord, that you will be with them every day. Father, I pray for the United States. I pray for healing for the rifts that are there, the, the division between races, the division between political outlooks, the division between so many different aspects of our society. Father, I pray that we can unite in you. I pray that you can bring about peace. I pray that you can lead us toward justice. And Father, I pray for those in power, those with authority. I pray that they be given wisdom, that they be given hearts that seek truth and justice rather than political power. Father, I pray that you change the hearts of, of many, and I pray that uh, your kingdom can lead the way rather than the kingdoms of this world. Father, I pray for all the kingdoms of this world. I pray that their governors may, may look at their people with love, and care and seek their best and not just seek to dominate them. And Lord, I, I pray that your gospel may spread throughout the world. And Father, we offer this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.